soul atman chakra aura are words that you would have heard in your life people have different perceptions of dimensions about these words almost all of the gods whose faces can be depicted have this brilliant white light or halo behind their heads these are interpreted as their auras or spiritual energy the concept of soul has been there almost throughout human history and across all civilizations in judaism and in some christian denominations only human beings have immortal souls and when people die their souls will be judged by god and are chosen to go to heaven or to hell hinduism believes that there is an atman in every being this atman manifests in different forms in different beings in different reincarnations if you do good deeds your soul gets reborn as an upper caste brahmin but if you did bad deeds you may end up being a lowly caterpillar in your next janam islam considers ruh as something that allah captures when you go to sleep and returns when you awake and then at death an angel named azrael takes the souls of the deceased away from the body however science has disproved the concepts of souls and chakras long time ago as being non-existent except in human imaginations still there are millions of people who still believe in these pseudo scientific concepts one such concept is the concept of aura and that it can be captured using a special camera known as kirlian camera pale blue thoughts takes a look at kirlian photography to see whether the camera is capable of capturing the soul or the aura of living beings please do share this video with others if you found it beneficial please help spread the knowledge and help people attain a scientific temper it's your fundamental duty and it is not just me saying that your constitution demands you to do it hello i am anand and i welcome you to pale blue thoughts the channel which debunks zero science and promotes scientific temper According to spiritual beliefs an aura or energy field is a discharge that is said to enclose a human body or any other living being psychics and holistic medicine practitioners often claim to have the ability to see the size color and type of vibration of an aura in many complementary and alternate medicine systems the human being aura is seen as part of a hidden anatomy that reflects the state of health and well-being of a person in indian systems auras comprise of centers of vital force called chakras the concept of auras was first popularized by a person named charles webster leadbeater a former priest of the church of england and a member of the mystic theosophical society leadbeater had studied theosophy in india and believed he had the capacity to use his clairvoyant powers to make scientific investigations He was indeed a man with some brilliant imagination because he claimed that he had discovered that most men came from Mars and the more advanced men came from the moon. In 1910, Leadbeater introduced the modern concept of auras by incorporating the tantric notion of chakras in his book The Inner Life. Since then, there has been numerous attempts to capture the energy field around the human body. Supernatural interpretations of these images have often been the result of a lack of understanding of the simple natural phenomena behind them such as heat coming from a human body producing aura like images under infrared photography. Then in the year 1939 a Soviet inventor named Semyon Krylin along with his wife Valentina discovered and developed Krylin photography. They discovered that by placing an object or body part directly on photographic paper and then passing a high voltage across the object they could obtain the image of a glowing contour surrounding the object. Kirlian believed that images created by Kirlian photography might depict a hypothetical energy field or aura. Kirlian and his wife were convinced that their images showed a life force or energy field that reflected the physical and emotional states of their living subjects. They thought that these images could be used to diagnose illnesses. Kirlian's claims were eagerly embraced by one section of pseudoscientific practitioners who used to scam people using the same aura and chakra and tantric forces. Energy healing practitioners like those who did Reiki, acupuncture were jumping for joy at Kirlian's discovery. 
They were the ones to claim that the patterns of light captured in Kirlian photography are images of the organism's soul, aura or chi. Anyways, so what is the truth behind Kirlian photography and the mysterious aura? Kirlian photographs do not show the soul of an organism. Kirlian photographs show the light that is released by the electrified air surrounding an object when the object is intentionally filled with electricity. When electric charge moves quickly through air, it trips electrons of air molecules and gives them energy. When these electrons recombine with the air molecules, they emit their energy in the form of light. For low to medium amounts of electricity, this process is called gas discharge. This is exactly the process at work in neon signs and fluorescent light bulbs. For high amounts of electricity, the physics involved is more violent and the process is called arcing. Examples of arcing include lightning, the sparks created by spark plugs and the arc created by an arc welder. Lightning bolts, spark plugs, neon signs and Kirlian photography all share the same root phenomenon. That is, if you run electricity through air quickly enough, the air glows. Typically, gas discharge is simulated in tubes containing special gases that are held at low pressures. This increases the efficiency of the process. However, gas discharge happens just fine in regular air at normal pressure. In the open air, this gas discharge is called a corona discharge. When an object that is sitting in open air is filled with enough electric charge, the electric charge leaks from the object into the surrounding air. In doing so, the air surrounding the object becomes electrified and glows. Since the air that is closest to the object is the most electrified, the pattern of light that is present in corona discharge takes the shape of the object that is being electrically charged. While corona discharge sounds exotic and looks mystical, it is in reality just an ordinary phenomenon that happens in fluorescent light bulbs and spark plugs. Since corona discharge is a straightforward electrical effect, the pattern of light that is created depends on the electrical conductivity of the object, the shape of the object and the composition and state of the air surrounding the object. It does not depend on the biological vitality of the object or the emotional state of the object. All objects from nails to pennies can be made to emit a corona discharge. Does this indicate that coins and nails have souls? It just indicates that electricity has been pumped into a nail to the point that the surrounding air has become electrified and it glows. Kirlian photography is simply the capture of the light from an object's corona discharge using a photographic plate that is placed very close to the object. Placing the photographic plate very close enables the capturing of fine details in the patterns of the electrified air. People who believe in Kirlian photography narrate a very famous experiment called the Torn Leaf Experiment in order to prove that aura and soul exist. In this experiment, a leaf is placed on a glass plate and then electrified so that its coronal discharge is captured on a photographic plate. Then the tip of the leaf is torn off and removed. When the leaf is again electrified and photographed, the resulting corona discharge is found to have the shape of the entire leaf, including the tip that has been removed. This experiment seems to show that the soul of the tip of the leaf is still present and therefore shows up in the Kirlian photograph even after the physical tip has been removed. However, this interpretation is false and can be easily disproven. The corona discharge at the location of the missing leaf tip is caused by the moisture residue that the leaf has left on the glass plate. If the glass plate is wiped clean and the ripped leaf is again imaged, the corona discharge no longer appears at the location of the missing tip. Similarly, if the ripped leaf is placed on a new glass plate, there is no corona discharge at the location of the missing leaf tip. The result shows that the famous torn leaf experiment is an example of a poorly run and incorrectly interpreted experiment rather than an indication that leaves have souls which can be photographed. Results of scientific experiments published in 1976 involving Kirlian photography of human fingertips showed that most of the variations in corona discharge can be accounted for by the moisture content on the surface and within the living tissue. Studies in laboratory conditions have demonstrated that auras are instead best explained as visual illusions known as afterimages. An afterimage is an image that continues to appear in the eyes after a period of exposure to the original image. After images occur because photochemical activity in the retina continues even when the eyes are no longer experiencing the original stimulus. Scientists have repeatedly concluded that the ability to see auras does not actually exist. 
Kirlin's experiments did not prove evidence of an energy field other than the energy fields produced by chemical processes and the streaming process of coronal discharges. So to sum up, Kirlin photography is nothing but a very common electrical effect that we can see in commonplace things like neon bulbs and spark plugs. There is no mysticism or soul or aura associated with it, although the pictures are very eye-catching for sure. Many visual artists have used Kirlin photography to produce very artistic images of a variety of subjects. Apart from the mystical nature of the photographs, there is nothing supernatural in Kirlian photos. Also, there is no scientific evidence of a soul and its aura. It is all a figment of human imagination. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please like, comment, share and subscribe. I shall be back soon with yet another debunking pseudoscience video. Until then, it's bye-bye from Pale Blue Thoughts.